Good morning. Um, got practice 13 today. Um, had a very solid practice yesterday. Obviously, today's a little lighter without the shells. Kids uh, always love not to have those pants on, uh, so that will add a little bit more energy and at least freshness to their minds. Uh, although it'll be the same tempo, uh, you know, we don't have any live periods yesterday or today really. Um, so, you know, we're trying to stay healthy that way. Um, but tomorrow's Jersey scrimmage number two, which is important. Um, and, uh, you know, it was just like game day, try to keep it a little fresh before game day. Tomorrow's a big day. Tomorrow's our last chance to really, you know, make that move on the depth chart. I think, uh, you know, there'll be some different moves or solidification of, of the depth chart after tomorrow. And the next week we get into a lot of game planning and um, in preparation for Virginia, as well as continue to, you know, work on our trade. So questions? Which position group in the scrimmage tomorrow will you be watching closely? Uh, you know, um, I'll be watching the quarterback to make sure he doesn't get hit. That's the one I'll be watching. Because uh, it's it's always intense out there on game days. It always scares the heck out of me. Uh, but, you know, I the tape, that's what the tape is for. You know, I'm looking for details. I'm trying to watch where the ball is on offense, miss tackles. I'm, it's not like I'm watching a position. Um, it's, it's you know, the, the, film, the film is for that. It's a videotape afterwards, and it's every position. I mean, there's, it's not like you go, oh, I'm good there, don't worry about that. Because that guy you think you're good with, he's got to you know, show up tomorrow to play, too. So. Um, it's every position. That, you know, it's not just one focus. Now, again, the O-line is going to focus on the O-line. I mean, Coach Bordley is going to be all over them. But as a whole, my job tomorrow you know, is just to kind of focus on, on the team, making sure we get situations that we need, and then we'll focus on that certain position. But every position is you know, open. I don't you know. It's really, I mean, every position, whether it's, hey, you might think you got a solid one, but hey, who's a two, three? I mean, those are all huge battles that will happen in every position. When you guys brought in Mark Whipple, Offense. How important was, you know, his kind of multiple style week by week? Um, how important was that in kind of your decision making? Um, you know, I, I, it was important. Obviously, I mean, when you, you look at hiring a new offense coordinator, you're looking for some, you know, uh, diversity as far as what he does. Um, it was important that he was not a fast tempo, uh, spread guy. Uh, like really, you know, 90% of college football is. I didn't want that. I wanted to have a different identity. Uh, so he gives you the same identity of a pro style that likes to run the power and it's going to do things, you know, the old school with a little flavor of some new stuff. And I think uh, that's what makes it, you know, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a gym rat as far as football goes. There's not a day you don't walk by there. He's not just watching our video. He's watching NFL football. He, he, he's evolved through the years, but he's still got that old school mentality. Coach Cable and the basketball team obviously just came back from their Italy trip and uh, other college football programs have done trips like that. Is that something you'd ever consider for your program? You know what, uh, you know, I'd consider it, you know, I'd love to go to Italy, I'd love to go back to the home country, uh, however, you know, it's just time, you know, I think it's kind of just a, you know, it's a recruiting, I don't know, I, you know, from talking to people at different places to do that, you know, people don't get real excited about it, it's just more of a grind, but our kids need time off, they need time away from our coaches, um, and, you know, it started off as a way to get, you know, more spring ball somewhere else, like, you know, spring training, and, uh, you know, if it was that exciting for everybody, if everybody heard rave reviews about it, everybody else would be doing it. You know, because I don't think it ever comes down to money. It comes down to what's best for your kids. So uh, that's that's my opinion on that. Talking about the linebacker race a little bit, how's Salim Brightwell come along? You know, Salim's doing well. I mean, he's you know that, that Mike spot. You know, Elias is doing well. It's a, it's a battle there, of course. And and you know, I feel like we got two starters there. You know, and if Salim can go also play the boundary, so you feel good about that. And he's he's worked both sides. Anything final? Uh, Salahuddin, how close is he to being full go? If he's full go. He's, he's full been go. full go maybe for a couple of days. Sorry to let you guys know that, John. But, uh, yeah, he's been full go. We kind of slowly got into him. And, and uh, you know, he was full go this week. He did not go full go in the scrimmage. He was upset about it. But it was like, you aren't, you know, we're live. So, hey, Mike, you're going to take a day off. It's a recovery day for you. And then this week we've, you know, started to get him hit. Um, Again, no one's going to be more down if we put him out there week one, which we could have, and say, hey, you're live. You're just like everybody else. But just being smart, letting him get his feet back underneath him. It's been a year. So, you know, God forbid anything happens, you, you know, at least have regrets as a coach. Because our, our main concern is the safety of our football players. And, you know, I think everybody look at it and say, man, they did that guy right. And so we're just taking our time, even though he's mad, like, coach, I'm ready. It doesn't matter. I'm not ready. I want to make sure you're good. And, you know, so he'll go live tomorrow, so it'll be a great opportunity for him. Yeah, how excited are you to see him live in, in that scrimmage setting? You know, I'm excited to see everybody. But, it, you know, for him and, and even, even Haba is in the same boat. Haba, again, you know, those two guys were on the same track. 
this week he'll do, he'll do more live, I should say. He's done more live all this week, and he's been impressive this week as well. Um, you know, he went to Rome, the basketball team went to Rome, might have a, you know, you know your gut, I shouldn't say we might, you know, we're going to see a, a defensive end from Italy that's, uh, that's going to play for the Panthers here this, week, this year.